Hi folks, it's Trisha from Smith's Crafty Creations here um, with another Tuesday tip. This time it is changing your blade um, on the trimmer and also cleaning up the other areas um, to give you a better cut every time. So, <clears throat> what I do is, I've got my new blades here and because I craft um, most days, um, I do go through my trimmer blades um, quicker than most. So, here's a new trimmer blade. This is a little protective film that it comes with. Now, on the, the board here, you'll see a thicker section. This is where you pop your blade up to. And then simply just pop it out, like that. Now, you'll see this is actually um, quite dirty. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little clean. I'm just going to give it a clean with a wet, wet piece of, uh, what do you call it, kitchen roll. And that just removes any dirty fibres that may be there. i also give it a little um, poke and prod with my pick tool. Again, that's great for taking out the uh, little pieces of paper fibres. So Now, I've already cleaned this one a few times, um, so I'm confident that that's done now. So I'm going to put my new one in. And I'm just going to basically pop it to that area. And there we go. Now, um, in my planner um, that I got from stamping up a while back, um, I have a um, little, let me see now, little stickers um, and some of these little stickers are actually the little scissors. So what I would normally do is take one of them and put it on my cutting blade. Um, but I can't find my other sheet. It might be at the back here. Yes it is, here we go. And that just differentiates which is the cutting blade and what one is the scoring blade. So I'll just pop the little scissor sticker on there. Ta-da! Yep, so that's me change the blade. Now I'm going to have a clean of the other areas, okay? Now this actually just pops off. You see that? Um, I've got a damp cloth. I'm just going to give it a wipe, like so. Because it does get dirty with everybody handling it and stuff. So, what I am going to do though is I'm going to run the um, the cutting tool, not the cutting tool, the scoring tool. I'm just going to poke and prod it to remove any fibres that might be sticking about there, and that seems fine. Now, the next piece that comes out is this cutting guide. And you will see inside, let me see, let me get some light on it. don't know if you can see. I can certainly see muck and grime inside. So what I'm doing is I'm going to get my wet, wet piece of um, kitchen roll. Or you can use an alcohol wipe or something. And I'm just going to, look at that dirty. I'm just going to force it down. Drag it along and remove any sticky bits. There's a big sticky bit. And it's just basically a build-up of um, paper fibres. So it is good to keep keep on top of keeping your equipment clean. So I'm confident I've got all that out. Now, the area that that lies in here, this is a little bit sturdy as well. So I'm just going to quickly give it a little wipe. Like so. And I'll give the rest of it a wipe. Now I'm going to use my kitchen cloth. And I'm getting rid of any little excess bits of glue, etc. that's came off of my hands. While well, I've been crafting. There. Right, so let's build it back up. Ta-da! There's the guide in. And I'll put... This in. Now you'll see 
all you need to do is I'll pull it out slightly and it stretches and then pop it back in and that is it and there we go let's test the cutter now fab cut perfect I always keep these because you never know when they might come in handy in an emergency or something um, so there's my tip for um, Tuesday so yeah thanks for tuning in and um, come back soon Okay, bye.